So now I'm going to go to pictures where I've got more of a ceiling and even more of a ceiling. So the sketch that Lena did with all those, well, he did drew the chandeliers as part of the sketch. So I've kind of got this vibe that if the chandeliers can have this predominant presence in the image, that could go in an interesting direction that mirrors the sketch that he did and his intentions for this and using the room to the fullest that we can use it. So let's open this. I'm just going to bring the temperature down a little bit, just because I don't want... Actually, let's, um, let's go to previous conversion. Start. It's a little bit too bright. So let's bring the shadows down and the temperature down a bit. Because I think when I came back, it was a little bit more orange. But it doesn't matter too much because any discrepancy we can take care of with a bit of masking, which is why I'm not going to select blend all images together, as I'll do in a minute. Let's open that. And let's also open the other, even further back image. Again, I'm seeing how far we can go. I might not need both. I might not want to go so, so far back. But this way, we get to see all six chandeliers. So... Just do that on to previous as well. Should be all right. Let's open that. So now I'm going to go into my photo merge. So all my open images are the ones I want to use in this photo merge. It's taking its time. So there's three images here. I'm not sure entirely which um, function I want to use. Oh wait, there's even more coming up. So I've got some more pictures open. I didn't realise were open. I'll just get rid of those. So I've got this image open here. I can always remove them from the dialog box. But um, I just like to like, make life simple by not having too many things open like Mr. Horse there. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go back into that. There are three images. On tick blend. Um, I'm going to try auto. It might distort the model because uh, Essentially, it's trying to read for the ceiling and for the model. So it's likely going to stretch the model in a way that we might not be entirely happy with. This is where you might want to play around with the different options you've got in the photo merge and try for telling it to do it spherically or cylindrically. Or you might even choose collage option, which sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Let's see what it does. Um, but it has stretched her. I'm not sure whether that's a good or a bad thing. Um, when I'm looking at it, I see that it has stretched her. But is that a bad thing? Because the way the room's going, the room looks like it's going like this. So there might be a good ground. Um, there might be a relevance in just stretching the picture that way a bit myself, so that I just basically stretch everything out. Um, because it's all going very tall in this triangular motion. So it's not too big a deal. I can always try other options in that photo merge, but I think if I, there might be a risk of, if I did try a different one, it might give me too much ceiling.